first foreign instructor for use of F-16 arrived in Ukraine. The first foreign instructor in the operational use of F-16 fighters has already arrived in Ukraine, which should soon be handed over to partner countries. This is the first flight officer of the Greek Air Force, writes the Greek publication Defense Point. The Greek Air Force has gained vast experience and expertise in the operational use of the fighter in air-to-air -air missions, especially in close air combat, the Greek publication reported. On the 21st of August 2023, the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, while visiting Athens after his meeting with the Greek Prime Minister, Konstantinos Mitsotakis, announced the accession of Greece to the coalition. Today, we have an important result for the air coalition. Greece will participate in the training of our F-16 pilots, Zelensky stated. Journalists assume that the arrival of the Greek pilot in the Ukrainian capital is part of the F-16 Training Coalition Initiative, an international coalition established on July the 13th, 2023, at the NATO summit in Vilnius to train Ukrainian pilots and technical personnel to operate this type of fighter aircraft. Last fall, Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands committed to supplying Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets starting in 2025. Currently, the total number of pledged F-16s is about 80. Kyiv has been urgently requesting more advanced jets to strengthen its air force against Russia's larger and more technologically advanced fleet. At the same time, some Ukrainian allies, including the US, impose restrictions on the weapons they supply, stipulating that they must only be used within Ukraine and not for targeting Russian territory. Recently, the first Ukrainian pilots have completed F-16 fighter jet training at a military base in Arizona, with others soon to follow this summer. The first batch has graduated and other Ukrainian pilots are finishing their training here by the end of August. Arizona National Guard spokesperson Erin Hannigan told. Last month, Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo said his country's promised jets would be delivered to Kyiv by the end of the year. First French troops en route to Ukraine. Member of the Ukrainian Parliament. The first group of French military instructors are coming to Ukraine, high-profile Ukrainian politician Alexei Goncharenko said. His statement comes just days after Ukraine's top commander, Alexander Sirsky, announced that he had authorized the presence of the French personnel in the country. My sources informed me that the first group of French instructors is already on its way to Ukraine. Goncharenko, a member of the Ukrainian parliament and a delegate to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, wrote on X. In February, French President Emmanuel Macron said that he could not rule out the possibility of NATO member states sending troops to Ukraine in the future, although French officials soon clarified that he meant non-combat personnel. Macron later argued that NATO should adopt a policy of strategic ambiguity towards Russia. The French leader has been working behind the scenes to forge a coalition of countries willing to dispatch trainers to Kiev, Bloomberg reported. Sirsky, who was made Ukraine's top general in February, said that he had signed the papers allowing instructors from France to visit Kiev's training facilities and familiarize themselves with their infrastructure and personnel, and had notified French Defense Minister Sébastien Lecornu. French newspaper Le Monde, citing sources familiar with the matter, said that France could send instructors to Ukraine to train its military in a matter of days. According to Le Monde's sources, Ukraine was forced to tone down its comments on the possible deployment of French instructors to the war-torn country. Discussions on the matter should accelerate in the coming days, they said, and an announcement could be made during Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's visit to France. France would initially send a few dozen personnel in order to identify training needs before deploying several hundred more. The sources said Reuters also reported that France could soon send military trainers to Ukraine, citing three diplomatic sources who said the training would focus on demining, ensuring that equipment stays operational and technical expertise for warplanes to be provided by Ukraine's Western allies. The arrangements are very advanced and we could expect something next week, one source said.